Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamia's promo. And today we will be taking a look at the fingerprint scanner on the Galaxy Z Fold 2. Now I've been asked a few questions asking where is it located? How well does it work? And where it's located is going to be the side key. So in today's video, we'll set it up and then also give it a test. So to set this up, you wanna go inside of the settings and then you go inside of biometrics and security. Now with this one here, you do wanna go inside of fingerprints. And if you already have a pin set up or password, you just wanna type that in. The screen here just states a quick and easy way to unlock your phone and verify yourself in apps. Your fingerprint data is secured by Knox. Now, the one thing you do need to note when you set up your fingerprint on this phone here is that you do need to have it unfolded. If you had the phone uh, shut, it will be asking you to open the phone to set it up. Now with this one here, I am just gonna set up my fingerprint, kind of moving it around a little bit. I also did find that because there is a little bit of space when this phone is folded up, there really is no issue when you are to use your fingerprint scanner when it is closed. Uh, some people also asked if it is closed, it is fatter, it could be taking away from the surface area when you set up you know, your fingerprint. So when it is open or shut, it works very well. So I'm just gonna hit on done right here and we are complete. So let's say that we wanted to you know, use this right here. Now, the one thing I have been noticing is that the screen, when it is not on, it'll actually not uh, unlock. And that's the same thing even when it is folded up. So right here, you can see that I can't unlock my phone, but then once the screen is on, I can use it and it unlocks the phone. So that might be one thing that Samsung might wanna take a look at. Maybe it's just a small little software update but you can see here that when the screen is tapped on like this, it can unlock actually extremely fast. But for some weird reason, when the screen is off like this, it just does not scan. Now, one thing you can do is press the power button and then you can leave your thumb there for just a little bit longer and it will unlock itself. So you can see here that if you were to give it a press and leave your thumb on it for just a little bit, it will actually turn on as well as unlock. So really that's all I need to say about this one is when you set up the fingerprint scanner, make sure the phone is open. And then when you do want to actually unlock the phone, the screen has to be on. So you can do that either by giving it a double tap and then putting your fingerprint on, or what you'd be able to do is give it a press to turn it on and it also unlocks it at the same time. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.